Hello, just going to do a quick review of uh, what we did in class. Um, first of all, we needed to check that our IP address was set to be in the same network as the PLC. Right click on the internet protocol, click properties, verify that it's a local IP address that uh, was assigned to your PC. Once we confirmed that, we verified our RS Links driver. Uh, you set one up, go on through communications, configure drivers, from the pull down menu, choose the Ethernet IP driver, click add new, and from there you selected the network card that has the address assigned that uh, you set up earlier. To confirm that this is working and connected properly, you can see these three dots blinking. If you click the plus sign next to it, it expands and shows us the devices are on the same network. These are control devices. One is a PowerFlex variable frequency drive. The other one is the Micrologix 1100 PLC. If you right click on these items, you get device properties and several other diagnostic tools. Um, here you can verify the device name, part number, serial number, revision, but this is a good sign. This means we're communicating via Ethernet from our programming software to the hardware using RS Links Classic. So then we open up RS Logix 500. In here, the first thing we did was to go communications. System comms, this is where we set up the communications path the software should take to get to the hardware. Um, this may have been like this. In order to get to the hardware, click the plus sign next to the driver. Click on the hardware itself. On the right hand side, you're going to have options available. Online means you're going to go online with the PLC that will then allow you to view what's running. Upload will bring the information from the PLC up to your programming software, download is grayed out since I currently have no program open. So we clicked on the PLC, click upload. Here the software is saying okay there's a file coming from the Micrologix 1100 with a particular code in it, meaning this is uh, an identifier um, and it couldn't find a local file name on your PC that's coming from the PLC. So in this case, we have to create a new file. We say no, do you want to go online? From here, we deleted anything that was in the program. Make sure you click on the right window, highlight the rung number you want to delete, and click either delete button on your keyboard or right click and say delete. Once we had no rungs except the end rung left, we clicked on save and saved it as a begin file. This allows us to always use this file as a blank slate. Uh, click save, replace existing file if you had one. Uh, we also verified that in the I.O. configuration, right click on it, say open. Here we see our PLC, you see the part numbers for the input output module, you see the analog in card and the analog out card. This is to verify that we have the correct I.O. cards configured in our file. From here we're able to create a new rung, drag instructions onto it, one examine if closed, one output to energize, click in the question mark, double clicking it, typing in I, brings up the auto prompt and auto complete and shows the first available input address uh, not used on the PLC. Double click that, double click over here, start typing in O, shows us the output, the first output address available. From here, we can save it again as a different file. File, save as, we're gonna call it intro one. And then we have to go up here and download this to the PLC. Remember, we're downloading things from our software to our hardware. Download, we get a prompt, verifying the hardware matches what's configured. Say yes, run mode, we have to go to program mode, run mode, 